Let me guess, you play Warzone, but you struggle to get a good amount of loot at the beginning of each round. So therefore, you die. Over and over and over again. Well, you're in luck because this is Intel Drop, the series of videos where I give you some sort of useful information. Welcome everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you all six Black Ops Cold War Easter Eggs slash bunker locations and the corresponding codes for each location. Now if you've been living under a rock or you just haven't been following the Black Ops Easter Eggs, that's perfectly fine because I'm going to do a real quick recap of it just so you kind of understand what's going on in the current Easter Egg situation. Basically, certain content creators got boxes from Activision in the mail. Those boxes contained old projectors and slides which directed them to an old map on Black Ops. That map, along with the slides that gave us two sayings, one of which was Bish You Were Here. This saying led to the championship chess match that took place between the USSR and USA during the Cold War era and ultimately led us to Pontexpon.com website. This website ultimately gave us a lot of clues leading to ciphers and puzzles but more importantly released new VCR tape every day for six days. Each VCR tape had hidden numbers strewn throughout but also flash coordinates and keypad codes on the VCR itself. That code unlocks the door in said coordinate area in, in Warzone in-game. Each location gave more clues and hints and ciphers which ultimately led us to the Black Ops confirmation video confirming the worldwide Black Ops reveal on August 26, 2020. Whew. Okay, now if you haven't seen that confirmation video, the link is in the description below. With all that being said, that's not why you're here, and that's not why I'm here. Therefore, I'm going to show you each easter egg location and that location's corresponding code so that you know where to drop at the beginning of each round to get instant high tier loot. Now whether you survive it or not, well that's up to you and your skill. I hardly ever survive it because everyone and their moms wants to go there it seems like. He's dead now because there's two of us and we both have guns. There's only one way out of the bunker as far as I know. You're correct, but there's also... Right. He's right here. I got him, but he grenade launchered us. The first location is in the farmland on coordinates H6. Once you drop in, go to the small little barn building and kill everyone to claim back your farmland. Now you can retreat back to the barn and enter the code 49285163 on the keypad. There's not a whole lot in this barn or in the secret room, but it's still kind of cool to see where some of the first ciphers and clues are located for this massive easter egg that Activision has been putting together for us. The next location is the bunker at coordinates B5. Go to the farthest room on the end, jump through the floor, go down the stairs, and if you don't die to an ambush, well then you can enter the code 876-24851 and treat yourself to a rather large amount of great loot. Except there is this bust of an old bald man. Kinda looks like the Happy Madison guy. Terrific. Once you're done, you get to leave and get ambushed on the way out. Because that's how war works. There's always someone watching you. Always someone watching you. The third location is a small shed by the prison. I pity the man who had to work here. Drop west of the prison and enter 7294831 on the keypad and you'll gain access to a weapon or two and maybe a loot box. Who knows? You'll probably just get lost in all the pictures and then die to the zone. It's not like I did that or anything. The fourth location is another bunker that's on the same side of the map as the first. It has its own entrance with its own unique code, but it's basically the same bunker, just in a different location. You can go down the stairs, enter 972-64138 on this keypad, and you'll gain access. Yep, you guessed it, there's a whole lot of loot here, but not a lot much else. The fifth location is another small shed. This one is just down the road to the right of TV station. Here you can enter 274-95810 and gain access to all the wonders of an amazing 10x10 shack. Okay, well, it's not that amazing, but it has a weapon or two. That's kind of cool. The last and final Easter egg location is in the bunker at coordinates F8, at the very bottom of the map, back behind the monument in park. Go to the bunker, Go down the stairs and enter 6027413 on the keypad and you'll gain access. There's a lot more high tier loot here, but there's also room off to the left. 
Now you may think at first glance that this bunker looks just the same as the other two, but then you will notice that room off to the left. That room that's off to the left houses a nuclear warhead. After decoding all the mini puzzles and ciphers found in throughout all these easter egg locations, it was finally discovered that something is happening on August 26th. No one really knows what it is, but many are speculating that a live event having to do with this nuclear warhead will take place in-game in Warzone on the 26th of August 2020. Some people are even saying that the nuke is going to take off and blow up the dam. Damn. Or maybe it's just going to take off and do nothing but fly into the sky. <laughs> that would be a letdown. Well, there you have it everyone. A quick explanation of the current easter egg situation and all six easter egg locations and their corresponding codes. All the codes and their coordinates will be in the description below if you want to write them down and go see them for yourself. The bunkers especially offer a good amount of loot, but otherwise all of them are fun to explore and just see how much work Activision has put into this easter egg to try and reveal Black Ops Cold War. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and perhaps learned a thing or two while watching. So please go ahead and like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again everybody so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.